Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Nat Walsh. This is recorded live. Unusual. There is one child in the house. The other children will be coming soon, but I thought we would get in because I wanted to show you a couple of things. So this is the jelly plate, jelly press. It is five inches by seven inches. So in Australia, that's 12.7 centimeters by 17.78. It's I'm not that clever. It's written or there. Okay, so there's been a lot and a lot, a lot of people playing with this baby lately. So let's give it a crack. Now, I did play with it over the long weekend. A weekend ago, we had... About the 5th, early March, we had a, a long weekend here in Australia. And so I got in and made some prints. So that one's on watercolour. But these other ones are actually on the American Nina Solar White. But it's smooth. So any smooth cardstock, I thought I'd have a play with it. I love this. So you've got a couple of little, you've got the the green lines, which is a, um, a stamp. It's Hero Arts. And then this brown is a stencil. Sponging all of it. Another stencil. Bit of a mixture between the stamp and the stencil, of course. So I just went nuts. And if it's, you can see there... You see these lines, so that's got through a stencil and then stamped over the top. There's another one with a couple of different stencils, which I think is pretty cool. This one's a bit dark. I think you can see it all right. But usually there is like a double print. See how that one's got two little prints. So I've stamped it and then I may, I can't remember which one's which, what I've done, but I've stamped it down once. And then I've used the jelly plate to stamp it onto here. And the same thing with the stencils. So one's the positive of the stencil, one's the negative of the stencil. Get my drift. And then we've got just some other really cool. I love this one. But there you go. That's the opposite. That's selling it in reverse. Well, that could be the opposite. I don't know. Well, that could be a third print. Basically, you know, we had some fun. I had a bit of a play and it's all pretty cool. So what I'm finding, this one's really, I love this one too. What I'm finding is you sort of get two um, prints out of one go. Okay, so you get the positive and the negative sort of thing. So we've got our little jelly plate. We've got a paper rose, um, and it's not labelled, but it's a, a, I don't know, I don't know what that is. It's a basket. We've got Happy Easter. So this is acceler accessories to this baby. So you could easily stack those. But I'm wondering whether I can get these puppies into the basket, because that looks like he cuts them on there. Can you see that? So it cuts there and just scores there. So easy to flip things. So what I'm thinking of is using these. So these are the new, the mini distress inks. Uh, I always said that I wasn't going to get the bigger ones. That's personal. I don't use them that much. So I was always going to wait for the smaller ones come out. There's nothing wrong with the bigger ones. I just personally like the smaller ones because I don't use them. So what I'm thinking of is doing a couple of prints. I've got to grab some stencils and then playing with my air bubbles because, you know, that's what you do, especially when you're talking to a camera. Anywho, so make some prints and die cut out of this. I could use these, obviously, but you're not really going to see me do the jelly print. There's heaps of videos on YouTube about jelly print, jelly printing. So it's not 
a new concept and honestly it's very much around at the moment do not leave this anywhere on top of anything because I've just picked a little gooby thing out of that and it has left an indentation so you need to make sure it's flat okay so I'm gonna go and grab some stencils and we'll see what I can find okay I'm going to use a Catabug plate. <sighs> Dear. You know, who knows? Some people are special. What can I say? So we'll keep all our little bits and pieces. Just going to lift this up and hopefully get some of these air bubbles out. I think there was an air bubble in it. Oh, it will do. It will do, Fred. It will do. Okay. Paper rose. I thought this would be rather a bit cool. Patterned waves. I mean, you're not going to skin or fall up because it's... Um, I wonder if I just do a plain one. Because you have all these imprints. But, you know... You don't know until you try. A Hero Arts paper dorose. I haven't found. Well, I haven't found any big background prints, but I love, 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 love this one. It's one of my favourites. So, what we do? Open is the ink. Open the ink. Pick a colour. Pick some colours. So let's go. I don't know. Let's go those three. Why not? So what you have to do is pretty simple, straightforward. Is smush it down in random spots. They're tight little beggars. Push it down. I'm trying not to overlap. I will completely say that. Oh, so I'm just using the edge of these ones. Just trying to get it in the middle there. I don't want to contaminate my ink because you know it'd be the one time that it holds really, really, really well. So then, as you could see, I've got a little distress brayer so I've got the two and one quarter inch and I have a bigger one I think it's quite firmish so I thought with a smaller one now I think this crackling camper is going to overtake quite a fair bit so I think this is going to be very very ready red looking my Oh, look at that. It's gone very, very orange. That would be cool. Nice and bright and orange. Okay. What I'm going to do is just put this straight down, have my stamp, and we're going to stamp with the jelly plate. So we've got one print there. Try not to press down too hard. And of course, it gets stuck. Let me grab some stock. Okay, so one. I've grabbed a piece of white cardstock purely because I probably shouldn't use my dog's rates notice, registration notice. Not that they're really going to care, but you know, who cares? Someone will. So this is the first. So you can't see, I mean, the speck of leg is so light, but you know, it's like, let's have a play with this and see what happens. You sort of get a bit of the speck of leg down here. Then, now I'm just using um, plain cardstock. It's possibly around 14.4 centimeters by 10 centimeters it is. So this one's going to be a lot darker and then we can figure out which one we want to use.
Um, and what I was going to do before I did that was going to put a stencil down, but you know, oh well. Half the fun is just playing. So you can see a bit of the speckled egg coming through there. Maybe in the next one we're going to. Ah, look, you've got some speckled egg there. Darker spots with the campfire. And the rest of it's all blended in. So what we're going to do. So we've got two prints there. I'll let them dry. So as I said, I was going to put the stencil over here and then put the print down. But we're going to do this separately. You can layer these things up. So who cares? So let's just go with more. Now you're not really going to see much of this color I don't think but you know who knows let's we'll see I didn't leave much room for my pink but I'll just wipe some of that off make sure it's all clean my pink doesn't get contaminated so I have wiped it off uh, Brea so I don't think much of the pink's going to come through but you know it could have a quite a cool little technique um, not a cool technique but a cool little interesting pattern let's go this one Start down. I'm just figuring out where I was putting it that's all that's why it took a little bit too long so give it a rub I tend to use just my hands but you know clean your brayer off at the same time I did that before. Funnily enough, back on my rates notice. But anyway. Oh. That's. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, what I'm going to do is turn this over. I wonder if I'll get a print of this. But I should get something off that. So literally with the jelly plate, you just just play with it and see. Who cares if you get a totally screwed up picture? Um, you're having a play, you're exploring your jelly plate. So I did, do I have any? Oh, I do. I have this card was looking pretty cool it was pretty amazing it's awesome and then i decided to put it with the jelly plate and see what happens i hated it but what i did was put some wet it very much wet it drowned it um put some salt on it and now i think it's a pretty cool little card for a guy And it has a very, very weird, rough technique. So try salt. It's pretty cool. Um, but, you know, if it doesn't work, it's who cares? It's a piece of cardstock. So maybe try that technique. Maybe put some salt on it and see what happens. Yeah, a tiny bit. All right, let's put it on here then. And it's crooked, but, you know, oh well. I don't think you're really going to see too much of it either, either way. It did move, but I think that was mostly stencil. Yeah, no, you don't really see too much. But it's it's not bad. You can see it. It's still pretty cool. But I don't know which one I want to use. So... Gently, I need to get a wet one, a wet one, this is a used wet one, but it's a wet one, and clean this off, I don't want to brush it too much, I mean it's ink so it's not as if it's going to um, you know, dry and you're not going to be out and destroy your stencil, it's going to dry, it's probably going to tarnish the stencil. Well, this one might because it's so light. But there was another one, the sunbursty one I did, was uh, shocking colour. 
in the end. So what I might do, so I don't want to play too much about it, but, you know, experiment with your colours, experiment with everything and give it a crack. You know, what's the point? What's the problem? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off and jump over to voice, voiceover, because you've seen the main thing. The card is going to be relatively plain and simple thing because I want hopefully my eggs to stand out. Famous last words, but we shall see. So I'll talk to you soon. Okay, so we have our little bits and pieces cut out. Now you see off that little egg there that I'm playing with, it actually cuts out um, a scallopy, circle-y type of thing. But we're not going. We're just going to ignore, ignore it for the time being. So I'm a little well. I'm quite low on the screen, but basically I'm going to trim around these eggs to get a rough egg shape and trim those out. And then what will happen is now we're going to pin that down. And of course, it's too big. We knew it was going to be too big because I'm trimming on the outside of the egg. But, you know, we have our rough outline. So it doesn't matter. I'm going to cut this in a minute. Um, I'm just going to glue it down with glue the outline sort of bits down to the rough cut egg. And with, with a little bit of multi matte medium. And very shortly, I think I should cut that all off. And there you go. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So I did quite a few. So we're going to get rid of that, the other two for the time being. Now, the basket did not cut that little slit. I don't know if it was just my machine. I needed to run it through a little bit more, but it did not cut the, the little line. So we're just going to trim that up and give ourselves that little gap. Just arranging my eggs in I don't know which way that I decided so don't watch that because I put the glue on the wrong side like a num num nut so we've got two Copic markers we've got more than one two in this uh, little card but we have E49 and E47 and I'm just going to try and put a little bit of sheeting on my basket so around the handle because it's sort of it's not really weaved it's sort of twisted but it's probably weaved but i'm going to try and put a little bit of shading on that shading on the sides and underneath it's the lip at the base not the base of the basket but the base base of the egg sort of thing just because you know baskets quite often have that rounded little lip they need a little bit of something something so we're just going to use some crackling campfire on this and now I think I'm just trying to figure out my placings where everything goes so we've got this paper rose uh, what is the stencil called it's just basically sky I don't have it here of course because that would be handy but it's a sky stencil with clouds. It's probably called a cloud. Okay, so I've got that now. So it's a cloud stencil from Paper Rose. So it has lots of little actual clouds, but then you've got the, I don't know how to describe it, but individual clouds and like a cloudy sky thing of clouds. Okay. We're going to use some mowed lawn and I have sort of, sort of tapped it onto the scrap piece of paper there just to double check. And this is a my favorite things mixables stencil and this one's called a grassy edge so what i've done is one line is pretty straight so starting on the stencil i've brushed downwards and then filled in the rest of it because I, at, to begin with i wasn't too sure what i was going to do whether i was going to leave it and use it with copics or what i didn't know but you know so we've got yg 05 and YG07 just to put a little bit of grass in a little bit of interest into our panel down the bottom 
it was a bit too stark for me so I'm coming back through with the tumble glass and just doing the edges but I'm also going where my little basket is and giving him a little bit extra color from behind him and it's a very very light ink so it just adds something without making it a focal point like it is behind the focal point but it's not like screaming at you to come talk to me quickly forgot to double check that I had my panel at the right which it was now I've got in the accessories basket accessories pack there's a little leaf which we're going to use that there's a couple of little leaves in there and we've got this great big ginormous happy Easter so I'm going to stamp this down with the mowed lawn and some of this is actually just secondary stamp and some of this is full on stamp so I'm just trying to give it a little bit of variation a little bit of difference and texture into the card so clean that all off I'm going to stamp my sentiment with that little funny thing happening there that was my 17 year old saying hello to everyone but it's speed up so it just looks really really weird but without changing the whole card uh, not changing the whole card but making the video look really weird I just told him to um, go away but yeah that was him saying hello so I'm using Memento um, the rich cocoa and I've stamped it a couple of times to make it dark so it didn't sort of you know it, it went well, well with the rest of the the piece I'm gonna put a bit of foam dots down some of this down the bottom and around the handle of the basket are going to be doubled up some of it's just going to be singular so where my eggs are is just going to be singular so we give him a little bit of oomph I've got these foam rectangle foam things and I'm just going to trim those down and I use the whole thing I use the edge I use it all if I bought all this foam then by heck I'm gonna use it all so cut up the edges don't waste it and you probably already do that but you know this is what I do so just playing around with that and trying to get the little fiddly bits cleaned up or straightened up there was one that was a little bit too fat for the handle so we've tidied that up we've tidied that up with oh, just some scissors I'm gonna put that down now I decided that the eggs were just a bit too flat and we're going to use the Copic markers to a give it some shadow and B just to make it look just more normal you know so adding some shadow to our images even as you see like die cuts and everything else is great it's good it's handy so I've got W5 W3 and W1 and I'm trying not to get it on the rest but it works out fine it's, it's just a little bit of something it's probably harder to see in, in on the screen but in real life it's quite good we're going to mount this with some foam mount and we're going to finish off with some stickles on our little eggs and that's pretty much my card for, for this week so down below there will be a link to the blog where it will have all the photos a list of all the products that I've used so feel free to jump over there if you haven't already subscribed that would be a really great there's a lot of people that um, and I have done it myself don't get me wrong you know you find these videos you watch these videos you think oh that's really cool and then you don't subscribe because you get distracted so if you have it already subscribed please hit that subscribe button hit the little bell and we'll get notified whenever I upload a new video I generally try and upload on Saturdays and Wednesdays 
it used to be Tuesdays but I've tried I've moved it out to Wednesdays now and that would be awesome because it really helps my channel along basically it's sort of with the I don't know the ins and outs of it all but I know that there's some sort of algorithm that YouTube uses to send out suggestions to people so the more people that like it and the more people that um well you know it's common it's always nice to comment on videos because there's you know share some say, uh, share some kindness around that's always handy but you know it'd be really great if you could subscribe that would be cool here's our little stickles and this is just stardust stickles and I'm just putting it here and putting it there so you can imagine on a whole panel this would be um, really cool individual little um, jelly prints you know I always used to use the jelly print with paint never thought about it with ink and of course everyone Jennifer Maguire is doing uh, ink and then it's just exploded from there so that's it that's my card I hope you enjoy. Um, I hope you are well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.